mentioned here European engagement and, and Chinese influence uh, growing. For example, Europe has traditionally engaged with China through trade. So there's many trade agreements with most of the countries, but there are also problems, uh, the free trade agreement in Mercosur, for example, or with uh, Chile and, and Mexico. What's the European approach to, to Latin America uh, and maybe how should it change uh, according to this new situation? I think it, it's very important, first of all, to say that there is the possibility for Europe and also for the United States of losing a long-standing partner, especially a long-standing partner in values, uh, democracy, rule of law, etc. And if, um, well, the European Union should change actually also their approach to the countries, as we have seen, The Chinese, they come as a South-South global partner. They say you're an equal partner for us and they try to satisfy the needs that the Latin American countries have while the European Union or the United States, when they do um, donate or have um, business relations and development policies-wise um, relations, have conditionalities. And with a lot of conditionalities, the countries have problems. And that's why it's easy for China to enter here. But I also wanted to mention um, the opportunities that are still there for the countries, um, economically wise, as we see, for example, the Argentinian, present, uh, Argentinian president at the moment being in Spain and com also coming to Germany, offering new relationship of, um, of hydrogen cooperation with Germany yeah, in this situation of war as a consequence of that. The question is, if this is really a, a, a possibility since there is a huge lack of technical expertise in Argentina and in the Vaca de Muerte uh, region, you have to extract uh, the oil the, the, or the gas that is possibly uh, sent to, to Europe. And also the question for the Europeans, of course, with inflation in, in Argentina going up uh, to 80% in, in a year. So who is going to invest there? Hmm? So as I said before, there are opportunities, but there are also challenges. But um, Europe should definitely change their approach to Latin America um, business-wise and also development, development policies-wise.